In this video, I'm going to set up remote administration from Server Manager. For this example, I've got Server 1, which is a member server on my domain, and I have Server 2, which is also a member server on my domain. My parent partition is acting as the domain controller. I'm going to open up Server Manager, and if I go to Dashboard, I have the option here to add other servers to manage. If I click a Find Now, it'll list all of the servers in my domain. Server 1, which is this machine, Server 2, which is over here, and W2012, which is my domain controller and happens to be my parent partition. I'm going to choose to add W2012 to the list. I can say OK. You'll notice the bar goes kind of showing progress here across the top. And then you'll notice a bunch more services jumped up here too. This represents the services that are on my parent partition that I've now added. If I look at all servers, you'll notice W2012 is now listed as well. Some of these services only live on W2012, and some of them live on both. This one's a server one service. File and storage services should live on both. And I can monitor the events for all of my servers that happen to run file and storage services all from one place. The other thing that's really cool that you can do is you can start to add roles and features from any of your server managers as long as you import these other servers in for management. I can do a role-based installation on either server. The installation process is slightly slower just because it does need to work over the wire, but it's not too bad. Let's install something new here. How about fax server? I'll also include the remote server administration tools. And I'll start that installation. And from here, you'll be able to see the progress of that installation. You can see the installation has begun. But one thing you will want to be aware of is you will need to make sure that there is network access between these servers in order for this to work. Make sure that there's no blocking by firewall. Uh, make sure they are on the same, uh, or at least on a routable network if they're not on the same subnet. They don't have to be on the exact same subnet, but they need network access between the two devices. So now, here we go. It's completely installed, and I was able to install that remotely. 